G'day, I'm Graham Blundell, and uh, I'm a journalist, a television critic, uh, and a TV presenter these days. I've gone back to television. Uh, I present movies for Foxtel. But most recently, I've just completed a, a new book. It's a biography of Bert Newton called Bert. Bert had begun in radio. He was one of the great radio stars of Melbourne at a very early age. He started at 13 or 14, uh, blessed uh, from an early age, really, with a voice, as he often said, was, that was well beyond his years. Uh, that very famous Bert Newton voice with that wonderful inflection. And he was the one, some of you may remember, who used to, for many years, do the uh, introductions to Graham Kennedy each night. And here's Graham! With that very distinctive Bert Newton lilt. Bert loved television and was always concerned, if not a little obsessed, with, with what the nature of television was, what the nature of uh, being a presenter actually was and is in television. And how do you maintain this persona if the presenter is distinct from the real person? Where does the real person begin and the, and the presenter start kind of thing? A rather metaphysical dilemma for the young Bert Newton. Then all of a sudden, uh, he falls into a job uh, with Channel 10. Uh, called uh, Good Morning Australia, which very quickly becomes known as GMA. And Bert has almost 15 years of an extraordinary life doing morning television. He reinvents morning television in the most extraordinary fashion. The show is one of the most successful in the history of Australian television. And Bert, at last, is the complete number one. He is the, you know, the... Uh, the major figure in his own show. Uh, day after day, week after week, year after year, he interviews people. He... he um, reviews books, he, there are cooking competitions, there are, it, it's the, the full-on morning madness and Bert's there at the centre of it. It's been an extraordinary career and it's been a, a fascinating journey for me after eight years of doing the book on Graham Kennedy to spend the last two or three years doing this book on Bert Newton, uh, ransacking many of the same sources and talking to a lot of new people some of whom I knew, many of whom I didn't know, to try and get behind the enigmatic, complex figure of Bert Newton.